I'm Danny Hofer, and we're south of Huron, southeast of Huron, hunting uh, pheasants in the late season. And for us, it's a wonderful time to be hunting. Stick with us, we're going to find a lot of action today. Come on, buddy, come. Rooster, rooster! Rooster! Shot, Mike. Rooster! Rooster! Here. Piper, here. here. Piper's got it, Danny. It isn't dry anymore, so the, the scent is really good. Uh, we have good dogs and a lot of them, and so they can really scent out the birds and get them up that are there. But at the same time, when they're when they're getting up ahead of time and hearing us, you know, we have pretty long shots. That's why we're using additional people down the side and additional wingers. Rooster! <laughs> Rooster! Okay, we just completed a hunt here in this uh, sorghum plot and we got a couple birds down. There were a lot of hens in here and a few roosters. This time of year there's a lot more hens, of course, because the roosters have been shot out all winter long. And we have one down in the neighbor's property here and it went down across the fence. So in South Dakota, you can retrieve a bird on the private property, but it has to be unarmed. So we got a guy and a dog out there on unarmed retrieval to retrieving the bird. So we're here at, at the end of a couple of uh, tree strips. And what is happening is this private land is up against some public land. There's a lot of good nesting area on the public land. So the birds tend to nest in the public land. Then they move over to the private land to feed during the day. And so we push some of the public land. We're now on private land that we have permission to be on. And we're pushing that out because there's a number of birds in the trees. We're late season. Oh, there goes a shot. Um, we're late season and there's a number of birds that have pushed into the trees for safety and for shelter against the weather. So we're hoping there'll be a number of birds come out of here. In this late season, when we chased the birds out of the food plot, came over here and we shot a few, and then the ones that got out of here went to the next food plot. There, there's no place for them to go out in the middle of the fields. They're all, are all harvested and there's pretty, no cover out there whatsoever, so they're gonna head to the next cover. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head to the next cover, which is another food plot, and see if we can't flush a few out of there. Hand! Rooster! 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 Nice shot. Okay, I'm here with Chuck Pyle. He's a friend of mine. He's been uh, in the area for 20 years or so, and he's been hunting out here uh, with us a lot. He knows the area, and he knows the public hunting lands, and how, how all of that is a great benefit for us. Yeah, the, the great uh, area around Huron, South Dakota, provides endless opportunities uh, for any, any type of pheasant hunter that's uh, in the area. Uh, especially the public land is uh, one of the greatest things that really benefits the community. Just within 60 mile radius of Huron, over 50,000 acres of uh, public hunting land. And that's not even uh, to say all the private land that the uh, state wildlife department rents and provides uh, public access into private land. It could be warm season grasses, cool season grasses, just that really good mix. You know, we were found in this area, the Prairie Pothole region, where there's all these wetlands that are spread out across a lot of this uh, lands that enrolled into the Conservation Reserve Program or even the public land. Um, just a lot of cattail sloughs that provide endless habitat quality and uh, really gets through the, the dead parts of these winters and uh, provides a, a great home for a lot of these birds. Here in South Dakota is one of the best pheasant hunting places in the United States. The people here are just so accommodating. The hotels are dog friendly. We have a number of hunting competitions uh, around Huron. We have the Ringneck Festival, which is a six-man competitive hunt. 
And then we have the Bird Dog Challenge, which is a two-man, one-dog uh, timed event uh, that brings people from 25 different states to come. Don't be intimidated by the amount of acres there is to hunt. We have tens of thousands of acres, private and public, to hunt within 50 miles of Huron. So if you're planning a hunt to here in South Dakota, you should stop in at the Chamber of Commerce. Huron is all about pheasant hunting, and they're more than willing to share information, land, landowners, so that you can come here and Rooster. do a hunt. Okay, we just finished another great hunt out here. It's a beautiful day in January in South Dakota, and if you're interested in hunting in the Huron area, contact the website below, and I'm Danny Hofer, and there's more coming from Midwest Outdoors.